Yo, what's up guys, Crazy here. I'm gonna do a quick review on the free-to-play Steam game called Ring of Elysium, which is a battle royale. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. If you have not, it's made by Tencent Games, which is a Chinese company that actually makes the engine graphics for PUBG. Um, and, believe it or not, makes the PUBG mobile version for your mobile devices. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it and uh, let's go over the game. Son of a First and foremost, I wanted to go over the game, uh, what it's similar to, what other battle royale games it's similar to, and what the feel and the motion and the shooting is like. Um, of course, it has the same feel as PUBG does because of Tencent's involvement with PUBG and its engine creation, um, the graphics. Um, now it does have a little bit of arcadiness, a hint of arcadiness to it, which gives it that smoother feel that I feel like definitely PUBG lacks on. Um, and in my opinion, it, it, it's, it's what PUBG should have been. It's the PUBG that PUBG should have been. Now the game's going to have your typical vehicles, uh, weapons, armors, medi uh, medical equipment. Um, but where the game really differs itself is in its modes of travel, uh, different archetypes that you can use throughout the game at the start of the, the, um, the round itself. Um, that can really change and alter the way the game is played. Um, how you can traverse the map really gives you an edge depending on what type of player you are. Um, and of course the end game when it comes to the extraction and be, you know, being the last person on the map, that definitely separates itself from other battle royales. Now the first thing I want to point out and give a great round of applause to is Ring of Elysium has a spotting system similar to what um, is used in Battlefield. Um, which can be great. I mean, I can't believe no, a lot of the battle royales don't implement this or utilize, the, utilize this. But um, as you can see, spotting is a great help, especially for teammates and how they can call out enemies in the distance. Alright, so I want to go over the three different archetypes you can use um, to traverse the map. There's going to be, the first one's hang gliding, the second one's snowboarding, and the third one is mountaineering. Now, I personally have never used snowboarding or mountaineering because I don't see what the point is when hang gliding is much cooler, much faster, and I mean, who doesn't like traversing the map a thousand feet in the air from a hang glider? Um, so those are the three different types. Um, snowboarding, just like it sounds, you just hop on a snowboard, um, you can slide down the terrain. Now, snowboarding does get you going pretty fast, uh, but as you can see here, hang gliding is definitely the way to go. Um, Mountaineering is you can climb up different cliffs that are marked throughout the map and you also have a zip line that you can use. The zip line is very quick, but like I said personally, hang gliding to me is the way to go. You are limited on storage space with these archetypes depending on which one you select, but uh, I have no gameplay of the other types, hang gliding is the way to go. Now I'm going to touch on some of the similarities between other battle royales. Um, you have your typical run of the mill vehicles. A uh, variety of weapons, armor, and meds. Um, the vehicles handle, I would say, better than PUBG's vehicles have handled. We all know that those handle terribly, and the net coating for the vehicles in the game is awful. Um, the vehicles will range from large vehicles like monster trucks to small vehicles like the Volkswagen Bug and ATV that handle respectively to what they are. Uh, when it comes to weapons, you have your run-of-the-mill assault rifles, SMGs, snipers, shotguns, DMRs, you know, pistols, etc. Um, and armor and meds can be labeled by um, two different levels. You know, you have a hel you get your helmets and you have a vest that you can wear. Uh, one being a normal and then the other one being superior. Uh, meds or first aid kits. You have uh, full med packs that will heal you to full health. Bandages. Um, nothing really varies on that. There are no energy um, consumptions like in PUBG, but I feel like the system is much much better. The beginning of each round is much different from other battle royales. Instead of dropping in from an airplane or a battle bus, um, you can now select spawn points with your team or if you're playing solo on a grid-like map um, that will have labeled with the cities. Uh, you can see different topology and the terrain elevation. But um, this to me is a great way to spawn in. Um, you can loot up quicker. There is a longer time period that you get to loot up before the circle 
um, closes in on that area with the with the blizzard or storm that the Ring of Elysium has implemented. So I feel like this is definitely a great change to other battle royales. It feels like um, Tencent really you know stepped out of their comfort zone to implement this. Um, I feel like it's a great change to the game itself. Now there are supply jobs in this game. Um, it's almost cut and paste from PUBG's implementation. Um, you'll see a plane fly over, a drop will be held by a balloon, uh, then you'll see orange or yellow smoke billowing from it, almost exactly the same as PUBG. Now there is a battle pass system similar to Call of Duty, similar to Fortnite's. Um, where you can earn different cosmetic unlocks. Um, it's a pretty cool implementation, nothing really special here. Um, I just wanted to show the similarities again. Now at a certain point in the game, there will be a closing area similar to every other battle royale in which you will need to get to the chopper. At a certain point in the game, when the safe area has shrunken significantly, a rescue chopper will be seen flying into the area of the map inside the safe area. The players will then have limited time to reach the chopper, all while vo avoiding or taking out other enemy players along the way. The best kicker is to make it to the in-game scenario is that there are only four seats available on the chopper. After a set amount of time, once extraction location is identified, all players will then be engulfed by the storm that will close in a certain time period, and to further increase the tendency of victory, each player location will be then shown on the mini-map to every other remaining player. Um, now you can say you can see how one player from each team can go, and all so all the teammates can be considered in the victory. Um, and you can there's other strategies involved where some people rush the chopper immediately as it as it, as it lands. Um, or hovers, and then some people will sit back and wait to see who boards the chopper, picking them off one by one as the chopper um, starts to fill up. But besides the end game, that's the biggest change I can see in Battle Royales. Um, but for the review, that's it, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys hanging around this long. I know it's kind of a longer review. Um, it's my first review, so let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'll be doing more reviews um, as I go on. I'll definitely be taking suggestions from you guys what games you would like to see reviewed, what type of comments you have on the gameplay itself, how you like this game compared to other Battle Royales. I feel like Ring of Elysium it has, a, has a long way to go in some aspects, but it's definitely um, very fine-tuned for an early access game. Um, let me know what you think. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this or other gameplay videos, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.